continues to mature. And we are underway here in Seattle. Game one, Coco Miller, part of that identical twin tandem. Her sister Kelly has been injured with an ankle. They swing it, go inside Sancho Little over Jackson. A tough shot to start for the sixth-year player. Inaugural season last year, they made the playoffs. They were 18 and 16 and lost in the first round. She did a nice job of really adding to this team what they needed. Getting good size, picked up quickness. In Her first. So Jackson will inbound it from the Seattle bench. And shoot the three, which she could do. She rattles it home on her first try. Rotates over, and she's able to rotate over because she's guarding Arminty Price, who is not really an offensive threat in the in the Atlanta offense. So if you're Mary Nell Metters, and Angel McCautry's got two quick fouls, do you take her out? No. Nope. Well, she does have the option, though, to go with the bigger lineup. Little in. Sorry, babe. So Metters takes out McCautry. You don't have your superstar. And you're losing 28 points per game offensively. Great. Look for Bird underneath the swing pass. You NBA veteran from Australia. A number of these players heading right to the Czech Republic for the World Championships, including Sue Bird, Swin Cash, Angel McCautry with Team USA. They'll play for Gino Ariema. And Mary Nell Metters is the assistant coach, one of the assistants. Two man game, really. Svetlana Brasimova, another UConn vet, originally from St. Petersburg, Russia, comes in, a ninth-year player, and she can shoot the three. She See. can do a lot of things. I like what Svet does. She takes a lot of chances. It may be the big three-point shot. It may be the drive to the basket or that unanticipated steal that she gets going the other direction. Arminty Price with the bucket. Spent three years with the Chicago Sky. Bird, the pull-up at the free throw line, not going to miss many of those. Hit that big game winner in game two on the road against Phoenix to close it out and win the series. Weiss leaves it underneath and the bucket up and in. But when Arminti Price puts the ball on the floor, you should already be a step off of her. She's not going to take the jump shot so that you don't want to allow her to get in the paint. Eight on the shot clock. Bird around the screen from Jackson. Hesitates, kicks it back. Little steps back, but if the foot was on the line, that's a two-pointer. DeSosa. Nope, no foul call. Bird to Little. Great body control to the left hand. Atlanta wants everything quickly. They don't play a slow dance down style. Lenning caught guarding Jackson inside, trying to get her the basketball, and they can't. Abrasimova, that high low action, hits action, hits it from the free throw line. And she's been a great player off the bench for Brian Agler. Great acquisition, signed as a free agent back in April. Lenning. Not normally looking for that, and that's a three. Especially when you're playing here at home. Five on the shot clock, letting McCautry to follow. And then a little extra for Willingham here in Seattle. A little, little bit of life right now for Atlanta. It is, and what they have done is they have picked up defensively, gotten the stop. That'll build you some confidence. McCautry that went in. McCautry off the glass and in, and the foul on for Seattle in the first quarter. It tells you they're really moving the basketball, getting great looks. Well, it's one of the things that Atlanta was so concerned about of how efficient Seattle is with their offense. Yana Vesela in there scrambling underneath for Seattle now, looking from the Czech Republic, and she gets a bucket. With the Phoenix Mercury last year, that title run, looking more and more to be offensive-minded here with Seattle. Ashley Robinson also in, a seventh-year player from Tennessee for the Storm. You look at the size of Seattle. You've got Vesla Robinson and also Laco Willingham in. That's made it tough for the most of you to go small and quick and then go with this big lineup. The problem is, is they've got to find a way to score some baskets. Little the bucket and the foul.
And Brian Agler and Marinelle Metters, good friends all the way back in their college coaching days. And uh, now meeting here in the finals. Castro Marquez over Jackson. That was a difficult shot, and it's a... Miller, change of direction. Coco scoops snow. Uchenka left all alone as Jackson hits the deck. Is they have shut down the paint. They've caused the kick out. They've done a better job in getting a closeout. And last but not least, Atlanta has gotten on the board. Second chance opportunities, as Brian Agler talked about. Yeah, and one and done at the other end right now for Seattle. Miller bringing it up. Crowd wanted a walk. Castro Marquez, the floater off the wrong foot and the glass. Throw the ball away. Turn it over. They turn right. it over. And I think Atlanta will cause you to do that because you get caught up in the speed of the game. You start playing their tempo. And what Seattle has been so good at all season long is picking their poison and knowing when to. Defensive force. Jackson to roll. Luchenka takes it away. Out ahead to Miller. Racing with right. Good look by Coco Miller to step inside. But Quatri loved their first leads as it was 2-0. Bird looking for the answer. Little inside. Chance for three. And out. Cash, the high low. Can't handle it. Is he in Castro Marquez? Pull up. She does that so well. It's those quick set up and run a half court offense. Scoring early. Sometimes only about four seconds have ticked off the shot clock. Four to six seconds. And Atlanta's got a shot in the air. Castro Marquez with seven, averaging 14 a game in the playoffs. Right inside out they go. Jackson behind the line. Crowd back into it. Taken away by Bird. One on one with Lanning. Lost it. Right to spin. Contact bucket to the line. Watch the games and even opportunity. You have to be at some means, obviously, but you want to get involved, and especially here in Seattle, save this franchise for Seattle. They were able to do it. Well, I think the biggest part of those two interviews is you had one female group of ownership helping another helping women in the business world. That's huge. Sancho Little with her sixth point, and it is a two-point game. Seattle's had four turnovers to assists. That's the ratio here in the second. Underneath the pass. Easy lay-in. Her last six here at home. One really scoring until that game against Phoenix in the semifinals. And the shot that she hit against Phoenix was huge, that big three-pointer. They're looking for a stop here. The home crowd is. Basically the same. Shot clock, game clock. Twice with three. Castro Marquez. Long three. Yeah, ring it up. Right before. Only played six minutes and 17 seconds because of the three fouls. Here we go. Third quarter underway at T Arena. With Angel in the game, though, she had eight points. Three for four from the floor and had knocked down a three-pointer. Bird guarded by Price. They go with that quicker lineup. Coco Miller all over Tanisha Wright. Watch Santo Little with Lauren Jackson. Her number one priority is to make sure that Lauren Jackson doesn't catch the basketball because when she does, that's what happens. That rotation. With that's what happened to Marinelle Meadows with her star during that first half. The bench steps up big for the Atlanta Dream. McCautry looking to go to work, and she does. The pull up 15. Audrey to spin inside. Tough assignment for Wright. There's the miss. So it's Wright getting that assignment right now at least. Swing Cash with the ball normally. Well, she started the game guarding Angel McCautry. Flash into the hoop is Lauren. Bird up and under. Nope. Now the up and down tempo, this place to the favor of the Atlanta Dream. How about Coco Miller taking Jackson one off gain and what do you lose with that substitution? Well, you get a, really a true guard in Svetlana and you have a player also that's going to take some chances, that's going to gamble and a lot of times those big plays work out in the favor of the Seattle coming around the corner and then getting the steal. Price picking up Sue Bird in the front court and over the course of 40 minutes,
that does wear on any point guard, having to look up and go, oh, there she is again. <laughs> but she's tough, though, and she's been in that situation for so many times. Making it tough. How about the turnaround? He makes it look so easy. She's had the last six for Seattle. Little just floating. No one came in. To look for the basket. 12th turnover committed by the Storm today. And that's one of the things in, when we listened to Brian Agler, he talked about his team turning the ball over. Those create opportunities for the Atlanta jury. Now that's a great look for McCautry in a two-point lead. That might have been the easiest look she's yeah. had all day. Three-time All-American in her days at Louisville. She's got 12. Camille Little left wide open. No one came to help. You twice so far. Seattle, obviously, with a home court advantage, had games won both times here in Key Arena and swept both series against L.A. and Phoenix. Well, it's really remarkable what Atlanta has done because they changed, went to that smaller lineup. It's not a lineup they've gone with all season long, and it has worked out for them. 28 and six the storm wrapping up a spot in the playoffs in early july in late july early august wrapping up home court advantage out west and overall home court advantage let's see this is the mismatch camille little wow nice pass mccautry the sosa the double taken away that's the kind of defense that seattle played through the year Little back out. Svetlana can shoot it, not this time. So can this person. She does it again. Lauren Jackson. They require that help. Seattle has too many weapons. Vesela takes it away twice on the run out. Big steal by the Dream. A time in the game where you, you need your veterans to tell the rest of the team, hey, don't worry about it. We're right, we're fine. We're on the road. They're going to go crazy for a while and just hang in there. Right, you got to have the composure from Sue Bird to settle her team down. One thing Brian Adler was instructed to his team, spacing, when they get too crowded, that created the opportunity for the defense to steal. You get good. Abrasimova around the screen of Willingham. Lenny, nice leave underneath, and the bucket up and good for DeSosa. That's a technical foul. The way LaCole Willingham was swinging those elbows, if she were to connect, that could be very deadly to Erica DeSosa. Tanisha Wright, oh, left it perfectly for Willingham. Three-person crew, they all have zones that they're paying attention to. Pretty well officiated game today, I think. I think so. I agree with you. I don't think I've ever said that. I agree with you. Or pass. <laughs> Long go. Good. The lead extended to seven. Castro Marquez, the silencer. That runner. That runner is her patent move. Tough to defend because. She's able to go up so quickly inside before you know she's going to shoot it. Swing it side to side. Jackson sets the screen. Doesn't roll. And lets White go all the way to the hoop. It's not an argument with that call? I thought it was close. I mean, I think it could have, it could have been a no call. The Sosa camping out in the lane. He's got to get out of there now. Clears it out, and again, the running one-hander off a moment ago. And one of the concerns that I had for Atlanta was the lack of experience in this type of situation. The miss rebounded up and in by Arminti Price. Sancho Little. Price with speed right past Bird. Underneath the layup, good. Great. Lester stepped out onto the... Free throw line knocked down two big free throws for Atlanta. Jackson, second chance, two points a chance for three. But it's a good sign to see her back. McCautry not wasting any time. The Sosa. 
Miller left wide open, had his foot on the line though, so it's a two-pointer. Today, she's got the confidence. That's her second two. Three. It was a two-pointer. Two-pointer. Which she probably should have made sure the foot was behind the line, wide open. It's a deuce. But she's got to take that shot. She showed a lot of confidence in his playoff shooting. Bird tells Castro Marquez, hey, I can hit the floater too. A lot of time on that shot clock might have been a bit quick with that long three. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're taking the early shot. Seattle, the clock is on their on their side, in their favor. The two bigs working together. Sancho Little. Right the screen. This time there is help. Lays it off though for Camille Little. A big bucket. Man game of Seattle. Castro Marquez behind the screen. Uh-uh. Little fights for it. Big hook back. Who has played much of this quarter, and she's still on the floor running the show. McCautry, the pull-up. Yes. Three. Ball game. Almost lost it. Now they do. Miller. Castro Marquez racing up to fill the lane, the bucket and the foul. And a chance. Go need a three so she can attack to the basket and then she has all four other players as the option. So Bird starts away from the ball, now coming back to get it. Our Minty fights on her. Jackson set to come up and set that screen, guarded by Sancho Little. Final possession, Bird around the screen, wide open, got another one. Seattle, the two-point lead.